In order to send a task update, first off, the person who assigned you the task, and of course you accepted the task, has to have a request to receive those updates. How do you find out if they requested them and that they're actually going to get those updates? Well, for example, weeding. Let me double click on it. And you can see that I accepted it on this date and time. And so you just come up here in the show group, click on the details. And we talked about this in an earlier training video, but this is a quick review. The update list, if there's an email address there, that's who's going to get the updates on any changes that you make, even if it's just a simple, well, let me go back to the task view, a simple period, and you click save. It's going to send the update. Now, it doesn't send everything like it keeps a history of the updates. So if I go ahead and delete all this and just type in, whew, this is taking longer than I thought, and then clicked on save, it wouldn't include that. It would just include the latest update that was made. So let's go ahead and let's say, well, we're up to 75%. You can type it in, but I'm just going to go in increments of 25%. Click Save and Close. Look down below. There it goes. Did you see that? Well, you have to rewind the video, but down below in the status bar, it said Sending Updates. But we know that anytime something gets sent, a copy of it gets stored in the Sent Items folder. So let's come over here, click on the Mail tab. There we go. Sent Items is selected. There it is. Task Update Weeding. Double click. And it shows our 75%. So like I said, even if I come in here and I get rid of like a letter G, we just call Whedon, I click Save and Close down below in the status bar, it gets sent off and there you go, Whedon. And it takes a snapshot of whatever changes you made and sends them out. Again, not the history. So let's go ahead and double click to open it back up. And you can make the changes here. You don't have to go to the task folder. And as you notice, you can make changes with those sent updates and it reflects as an actual update. You don't have to go back to the task folder to do the update in the task folder. Well, you could, but hey, you know, we're in the sent items and we can update it there as well. But if I go back to the task folder and I go to Whedon, double click, you see how it says Whedon. So if you do it in the sent items folder, it's just basically a link to the task here in the task folder. So what you do in one or the other, it updates the other. So if I go up to 99% and click save, automatically shoots it out. And the last step would be when I go to 100%, it's going to mark it complete. When it's marked complete, that other option was to send out a status report, which we'll cover in the next training video. So let's go ahead and close out of here and leave it at 99% and go to cleaning out the company fridge, the one that we assigned to Carrie to see what it looks like when she completes a task or what it looks like when she starts updating it incrementally, you know, so we can get our status updates. Double click. Oh, she hasn't responded to us yet, so let's go ahead and have her respond. Let me close out of here. And then I'm just going to come up here, not leave this folder, and click on Send Receive to show you that, well, there you go, it comes in. But notice how that the cleaning out the company fridge went from regular font to bold. That's the only indicator that you're going to get that that message has been unread when they start doing updates. Now, of course, we got this message back in the email, the inbox folder, that is, that she accepted it. So we go ahead and double click to open it up. Okay, you do it next time and alternate. All right, sounds good. So let me go ahead and have her update this task. Let's go back to the task folder. As a quick reminder, we'll double click so we can unbold it, of course. And it hasn't been started, no percent completed. This is totally from scratch. So when I close out and I say, okay, go ahead and send me an update now that you accepted it. Let's have her do like 5 or 10% completed. Okay, she just did an update, but just like email messages, we got to have the send and receive to be able to receive that update. And you'll know that when we get the update, because here in the task folder, it'll go from plain text to bold. So let me come up here, click send and receive. There you go. It goes to bold. Now, do I get the update in the inbox? No, you don't see it there. It's gone. It just goes right to the task folder to trigger the update, to update the actual task that you assigned out. And that's the only way you're going to find out if an update has been made. So if you want to find out if she made an update, if it's not in bold, she hasn't made an update. But when you see it in bold, meaning that it hasn't been read, go ahead and double click to open it up. And she did 5%. So that's changed. And then what about the actual work she put into it? The actual hours? Well, if she knows where to put it. If she watched this training video, you go to the details tab and wow, one hour she got 5%. Whew, that's going to take a long time. Let's go back to the task view. And so keep an eye on this here and we'll have her send another update. So what I'm going to show you is that she's going to reply to this and delete everything there. And so it only sends a snapshot of whatever she had updated. It's not going to keep track of a history here of all the other texts that we have. So if you want a history of it, you're not going to get it here. Let me go ahead and close out. Alrighty. 
Come up here, click Send and Receive, turns bold. We got it, it updated it. Double click to find out what the update was. And you can see how everything got deleted. It doesn't keep a history of it. Whew, this is taking longer than expected. And she's up, oh, 6%. Okay, do I dare look at the details? Okay, it used to be an hour at 5%. Now it's two additional hours at 6%. Oh, that's horrifying. So let me go ahead and, well, let's close out of here. So let's say she doesn't like cleaning. She just wants to put in clean out the fridge. She doesn't like the title. She wants to change it or just even add a dot to the title or the subject, I mean. So a period after fridge there. Come up here, click Send Receive. Goes bold. You see the dot has been added. So you could be double clicking and looking in here and just kind of going nuts if they're doing this all day long. Well, let's see. I want a period. No, I don't want a period. No, it shouldn't be spelled. No, I don't want company in there. It's just cleaning out the fridge. Oh, that could be annoying. So if they're doing that all day long, you may not want to check this every time to open it up to have it marked as being read because then the boldness disappears. But at the end of the day, go ahead and double click and you'll get the latest change. No history, just the latest and greatest. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.